The cockpit voice recorder is sent to Washington, but it's designed to tape over itself every 30 minutes. None of what happened in the cockpit during the terrifying plunge from the sky remains. Without a cockpit voice recorder, we had to reconstruct what the, what the crew uh, said and how they interpreted things and what was going on in the cockpit to the best of our abilities with the other data that was available to us. A record of the plane's instrument activity during the flight has been captured by the flight data recorder. But again, the team runs into a problem. The flight data recorder experienced unprecedented stress during the dive. There were electrical interruptions too, which caused gaps in the recording. Investigators begin with what they do have. Passengers and crew report that just before the failure of the jet's fourth engine, the plane flew through unexpected turbulence. Had this caused the engine to fail? Satellite weather maps reveal that there was indeed heavy air turbulence over the Pacific. But it wasn't severe enough to cause engine failure. The jet's four engines are tested and studied. Even after the horrific dive to the sky, they're found to be in working order. However, given the previous history of problems with engine four, it receives particular scrutiny. The wear on a small throttle valve trimmer is measured. It's worn down by only four one thousandths of an inch, but that's enough to restrict the fuel flow to engine four. Investigators determined that at 39,000 feet, engine four did indeed deliver weaker than normal thrust. It's known as a hung engine. The aircraft logbook reveals that engine four had been written up on two previous occasions just the week before. But after weeks of investigation, the NTSB concludes that the engine didn't need to be replaced. All the repairs were done according to the book. A faulty engine was not the cause of the accident. And even with the loss of one engine, the plane shouldn't have been in immediate danger. A 747 is designed to fly on only three engines. <laughs> 